Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Feed, and I am sad to inform you that we do have Gabby Petito updates, and it's not good. Today, the FBI held a conference and stated that they found a body in a campsite where Gabby Petito was known to be, and it matches her description. First and foremost, on behalf of the FBI personnel and our partners, I would like to extend sincere and heartfelt condolences to Gabby's family. Joe and Tara Petito and Jim and Nicole Schmidt. As every parent can imagine, this is an incredibly difficult time for the family and friends. Our thoughts and prayers are with them. We ask that you all respect the privacy as they mourn the loss of their daughter. As you are aware, FBI personnel, in coordination with our partners at National Park Service, the Forest Service, Teton County Sheriff's Office, and Jackson Police Department, have been conducting an investigative activity in the vicinity of the Spread Creek um, dispersed camping area. Earlier today, human remains were discovered, consistent with the description of Gabrielle Gabby Petito. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. The cause of death has not been determined at this time. We appreciate your continued support and patience as we work through this process. What's interesting is that today with the finding of the body, there's also a YouTube video that went viral, got almost a million views as of the time of me recording this, of these travel vloggers finding a white van during their travels in that area where Gabby Petito and her boyfriend were. The channel's called Red, White, and Bethune, and you could see in their video of them just driving down the road, they saw the van, and they probably didn't even know what they had until this story broke, and they were looking back at their own footage. So with that video going viral today, and them trying trying to reach out to the FBI. It looks like the FBI went into that area and that's where they found the body. The boyfriend is still on the run and it's all the things just don't add up, you know? So all these different coincidences, him returning home without her uh, when the law enforcement couldn't get cooperation from him and then him just dis disappearing yesterday and then now a body being found that matches the description of Gabby Petito in the area where they were camping together. All of these things, I mean, I kind of already have my conclusion. Anybody can think what they want, but I'd love to know what you guys think of this whole situation. Please leave a comment down below with what your th current theories are. And I really hope they catch this guy sooner than later and we can get some answers as to what happened exactly. If anybody has any tips on this story or any other stories that you want me to cover, you can find me in my discord, discord.gg forward slash game rebel. Just go in there, shoot me a DM or tag me in the chat. Thank you guys very much for watching another episode of the feed. If there's any more updates on this, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. Make sure you check out my last video that I made about this. If you want to know more about the backstory of what went down and I'll see you guys in the next video.